fantastic guests, including the host of The Apprentice. Uh, just waiting to hear when I can send them in. <gasps> Hello? Would you send the three of them in, please? Yes, Lord Sugar. Let's start the show! <laughs> so much. Oh, there is nothing like the sound of 600 people clapping, is there? It's just... <laughs> that is lovely. Uh, welcome, all. welcome all. Yeah, I think that's about right. Uh, <laughs> we've got a fantastic lineup for you tonight. Top businessman and host of The Apprentice, Lord Sugar, is on the show, everybody. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, one of my favourite all-time actresses, the fabulous Olivia Coleman, is here. <laughs> Yay! Comedy favorite turned Hollywood star, Hugh Laurie is here, everyone. Yeah! Woo! Strong! Strong! That was very good, though. <laughs> hey, looking forward to meeting uh, the lovely Olivia Coleman. Now, uh, obviously, she was hilarious in 2012, the sitcom all about the Olympics. Yeah. The Olympics. Oh, they brought us so many crowd-pleasing moments, didn't they? You know, Mo Farah getting gold, Bradley Wiggins getting worshipped, uh, Boris Johnson getting a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> He's in charge. <laughs> hey, I think we all loved Olivia in the brilliant Who Done It Broadchurch. Did you all Broadchurch? Did you watch it? It was so good, wasn't it? But uh, now, I know a lot of people haven't got around to seeing the final episode, so I won't spoil it by telling you who the murderer was. Now, here's Olivia with the rest of the cast. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Fortunately, well, I did love it. I really did love it. And Olivia Coleman's detective showed such powerful raw emotion, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. I have to say, other female detectives, less bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Take money on the beach! Hooray! <laughs> and, uh, hey, so looking forward to meeting Hugh Laurie again. He's just embarking on a tour with his blues band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep pushing. Um, <laughs> of course, uh, Hugh's most famous role was in House. House, yes. The brilliant doctor. We don't have anyone like him on British telly, no. We've got embarrassing bodies. <laughs> oh, oh, those tonsils are really swollen. <laughs> <laughs> I'd take them out, but they appear to be out already. <laughs> <laughs> now, personally, I love you and Blackadder, where you played the Prince Regent. <gasps> oh, yeah, no, it's such a good show. A chinless wonder who thought he could run the country. Sounds familiar? <laughs> Yeah, it won't be so funny when he's the Prime Minister. <laughs> you was also in Blackadder Goes Forth. Oh, what a great show. I mean, where else on television would you get such a collection of half-wits and fools? Yes, The Apprentice is back! <laughs> hey! I, I know. The show's only just started, but they already know where they're having the rap party. Yeah, they do. The job centre. <laughs> Stay in touch in the queue. Uh, <laughs> now, as you probably know, Alan Sugar famously has his own personalised number plate. Yeah, there he is with AMS1. And this year's winner has also been promised a personalised number plate. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it, it's a great British sofa, isn't it? It's a proper British sofa. <laughs> British greats on my sofa. And I have to say, Olivia, you look different. Thanks. I've never seen you so... <laughs> so alluring. It's a... <laughs> Not the makeup. No, I mean, yeah. everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea There's lots of there. sticky tape <laughs> holding, holding things down. Right. <laughs> <laughs> your, your wife is watching, isn't she, Lord Sugar? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> In the green room. <laughs> eyes front, eyes front. <laughs> and it's very positive, because obviously we've got uh, a, a Lord of the Realm. Uh, Hugh is an OBE? Yeah, keeping it real. <laughs> Olivia Colbert, surely a dame in wait. You are going to be a dame one day. <laughs> you are. This can, it has a ring. Dame Olivia Colman. Absolutely. I wouldn't put money on it just in case. I would. Okay. Not a lot, but. Uh... <laughs> baroness. I think she'd go straight for a baroness. Baroness. Really. Oh, oh, absolutely. That's a good idea. Well, I'll put oh. a good. I'll try and put a good word in. If you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, did one watch Broadchurch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, The Apprentice is back. It's ninth series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But let me say, you know, you've been in America far too long. Have I? Uh, <laughs> we don't clap things like well, that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> I have to say, now, could you kind of think, oh, can I kind of get into this for the ninth time? I watched about 30 seconds and I was hooked. It's really well cast this year. Um, now, are you a fan of The Apprentice Olivia? I have seen it before. You know Trump, do you? You've been in America. You uh, I, don't, I don't personally know Trump, no, but, but I know one of him, he, yes. Well, he does it in He America, does yes. the thing over yeah, there. Yeah, he does yes. it. Yeah, Not yeah. very well. No. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Do, have you have you seen this one? Have uh, seen it? No. Um, <laughs> you've been away. You've been away. I've been away. I've yeah. been, been away. Yeah. And, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I hear, I hear it's compelling. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, in fact, I heard it from you, didn't I? Yes, you I said. Did, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe she mentioned she'd seen it. <laughs> With that ringing endorsement. Olivia Coleman, I've seen it. <laughs> so now, already uh, two episodes have gone out this week. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, uh, here's a brief introduction to some of this year's candidates. I'm a great of my generation. I'm an innovator and leader in business. I take inspiration from Napoleon. I am here to conquer. <laughs> I'm half machine. I can process things at a speed that is out of this world. Some people might come to this process with a game plan. I just feel my effortless superiority will take me over. I'm an old head on young shoulders. I believe that I'm the new breed of businessman that this process requires. I have run successful businesses. I can generate profit. I'm business perfection personified. I have energy like a Duracell bunny, sex appeal of Jessica Rabbit and a brain like Einstein. I'm prepared to fight for death to become Lord Sugar's business partner. I will do anything to win. Cheating, manipulating, I will do. I mean... <laughs> Siri missing? I, 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 I feel like such a fool. <laughs> I love the last one. You can't even shave your neck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm intrigued about that. That's weird. Is that a new fashion statement? No. No? No. No, I don't think it's so. It's like he's put his mirror way too high. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it is... May what I say, because I was a bearded... I was a, playing a bearded character for a while, and I, yeah. it was a daily dilemma to know where... where what do you do line? around there? Why, yeah. where, where, where do you draw? And do you draw a line? <laughs> do you actually... <laughs> <laughs> and if you... Because if it gets too neat... Mm. Then you start. Then it starts looking mm. like uh, you know a hedgerow yeah. or something. Because yeah. uh... you used to have more of a beard. Um, yeah, but it's a bit grey. But it's still there. Sort yeah, it's of. there. It's there because I don't like using sh razors and all that stuff. So it's a weeny little bit there. But the the, the beard never let it go too long. It gets very grey. Look like Father Christmas. Maybe December. Oh, that'd be oh, nice. December, yeah. <laughs> Father Christmas is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No, I, I have heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let, let's look at some of the guys. Like Alex Mills. Now he's that one. Oh my God. Eyebrows. <laughs> like you can do that. To he uh, he claims he's been one of the other candidates. Asks him as you would have seen. Um, 
you remind me of somebody. And he says, you well, in his Welsh accent, he says, yeah, well, people say I look like Freddie Mercury. And the candidate says, well, what about Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> He wants to manage a business. He can't manage his own eyebrows. <laughs> Actually, he's not a bad boy. He's not a bad boy, this kid. He's 22 years... Well, he was when we recorded. 22 years old. He's a very nice boy. Who's the next one? Well, well as Jazz... No, Jazz. The Half Machine Lady. Oh, Half Machine, yeah. Now, had she ever seen the show? <laughs> well, it is the most frequently asked question of people like yourself. Uh, the best chat show host in the country. Um, <laughs> Wait a minute, you keep going. He's going somewhere. You say that like there's a, there's a butt. You, you are going... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no buts. No buts. No I mean, buts? Look, there, there's, well, there's always room for improvement here. <laughs> yeah. See, I told you. I yeah. knew. Yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't come and hijack your, your show and tell you what's... What's wrong? What, 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 what could be improved? Oh, you see, he's well, got in here now, hasn't yeah. he? He's in here. Look, I, I'm a great believer in, in um, actions louder. Uh, look, I don't want to talk about it on here, but look, why, why don't I suggest... <laughs> why don't I suggest that, um, just so you can pick up a few hints and tips, yes. that I take the red chair sequence for you and you can pick up a few interrogation tips from... You want to be in charge of the red chair? Well, yeah, entirely up to you, sir. I don't wish to hide it. <laughs> People who volunteer for the red chair and are going, not oh, so no. sure now. <laughs> Wait, the red chair is yours. When we get to that bit, it's oh, yours. Okay. Yeah. It's, a, it's a Lord Sugar red chair special. <laughs> and now, in every year, there's a villain. There's a villain of the piece. And now, we don't know yet. We're only in episode three. I suggest it might be Rebecca Slater. <laughs> Makeup department going, by the way, you're evil. Uh... <laughs> evil number six. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you are naughty. No, it's. It, it, no, actually, she's a nice lady. She's, they all uh, hate her. Well, sometimes, you know, ladies, ladies. Oh, dear, without me getting into trouble here. Oh, what are you sometimes, yeah, well, we're this. well, sometimes <laughs> ladies don't like each other because one might be a little bit cleverer than the other, you know. So, and, um, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. so, you know, uh, but she's, um, she's a very good sales lady and she takes, you know, and, and she's very sensitive, actually. She, her looks maybe don't do her a service, really. I mean, you've picked she's up... She's very attractive, but, but she doesn't, like, yeah, yeah, but she's an, an she's evil a, genius. She, she's a nice lady. <laughs> She, she is a nice lady. I know I keep saying all these yeah. people you keep bringing up are nice people. But everyone's lovely. So what I've learned from this is, and I've always said, said this, don't, don't be fooled by first impressions, really. Yes. Wise words. Yes. And Even though you are the best chap. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but now, recently, we're all of the papers because of the court case with Stella English. Where she was mm. a previous winner. She wasn't happy with her job. She took you to court. And I just wonder, why did you... Because obviously you could have settled. So why did you kind of... Uh, do, it was like kind of trial by media in the end. So why did you expose yourself to that? Yeah, I mean, that's... A lot of my friends and contemporaries in business asked me the same question. They said, look, it is obvious, this is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even you know you're the best chat show host. You've got to get some better okay. questions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're, you're, I don't want to bring doom and gloom into your program. OK. But the, is there a quick reason? Why, why did you...? Yeah, yeah. Cause, <laughs> cause, <laughs> because... Uh, no, we're not on the red chair. Now, right? <laughs> yeah. um, the, the thing is, is that I'm not going to succumb to this claim culture stuff, OK? And um, somebody who thought that the, here's a high-profile individual, and normally, as you quite rightly say, they would just do the commercial thing and say the lawyers are going to cost this, the barristers are going to cost that, not to mention the embarrassment of turning up, uh, you know, in, in a kind of a public venue uh, and humiliating yourself. So for all of that, give them 50 grand, give them 100 grand, get rid of them. Well, I wasn't going to have it in this particular case, so that's it. Call me stupid. Uh, my wife's been calling me stupid for 45 <laughs> years. Uh, she says, you ask for all your problems that you bring on yourself. Another fellow, another friend of mine would have just given him some money and told him to go away. Not me. I'm not doing it. And it's, uh, it's the claim culture. I, I, 
I just, um, I, I won't put up with it. It's as simple as that. So that Ooh, was it. Fair enough, yeah. He has spoken. And you didn't even start that applause. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're so well trained now. <laughs> yeah. They just, they just did that. Yeah. Just watch the carpet there, Hugh. If you trip up. Yes. Um, <laughs> In the studio. The, 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 these steps are a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, we must mention the, uh, the US host, of course, Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. Uh, he of the hair. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, there's bad blood between the two of you. Oh. I say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you tweet each other, don't you? Uh, I, I, I happen to tweet him once where he was talking about how people love him in Scotland. He was moaning about some wind farms in Scotland and he said the Scottish are against the wind farms preventing his golf club. I said, oh, you've got it wrong. Club, no, yeah. I said, you've got it wrong. The Scottish are actually against you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then uh, I had a tirade of abuse came over Twitter, which of course, as you know, I couldn't resist answering. <laughs> And then I got a phone call from New York from one of his lawyers saying, uh, well, look, I'll tell you what you do. You apologise to Mr Trump. I said to him, over your fucking dead body. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse, excuse me. It's, um, <laughs> and that was it, really. But Twitter, you're on Twitter a lot. Like, do you enjoy Twitter? I, I, I've found it a very useful instrument. Um, um, now, 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 let me first of all say that it's useful in promoting that The Apprentice is starting next week, watch my next show, blah, 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 or, someone, or one of my business things, or something like that. But what I get out of it is the fact that I now have 2.9 million followers, um, so when those losers write things about me... <laughs> I whack them back on Twitter and I give the email address of the author and just invite my followers to um, perhaps right. join but, me in... Uh, but, you often the... seem, but you often seem quite grumpy. You often seem quite grumpy on Twitter. Like, so here's just some things from last... I think it's the end of last week. Here we go. So there you are. So, like you say, you ask people to uh, email uh, expressing your views, uh, don't use foul language, and then someone tweets you saying, is this not effectively bullying? <laughs> and Trigger replies, Shut up, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> next one, next one. This is just, this is fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Lord Trigger just tweets, um, What's the Chelsea score? Someone tweets him back, saying, uh, Hey, Lord Trigger, turn on the TV. <laughs> Shut up, scum! I'm not at home! Go crawl back onto your rock! <laughs> yeah, I think we should just leave trade. It, just, it takes you to a dark place, yeah. Lord Trigger. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just abandon it. Now, uh, The Apprentice, it continues uh, next Wednesday. But talking of new jobs, somebody's got one. Olivia Coleman has one. Yes, you do. <laughs> you are such a kind of crest of a wave. Have you, uh, do you, does it feel different being Olivia Coleman now? Well, I'm here. Which yeah, well, yes. didn't happen a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, it's, it's good. It's all good. Yeah, it's quite weird. Yeah. yeah. They're selling, you know, a big new ITV drama with you. Uh, the Suspicions of Mr. Witcher. It's oh, the second yeah. series. Well, not series, second one. And this time, it's Murder in Angel Lane. Oh. Ooh. Now, if you didn't see the first one, it's set in the 19th century. Mr. Witcher is a real person? Yes. So the first one uh, was uh, based on the real story of uh, Detective Witcher. Yeah. And he was one of the first British detectives. Um, and I might get it a bit wrong, sorry. Don't but, worry. Um, he, uh, <laughs> so we he, know nothing. He, <laughs> so he, he worked out who'd murdered someone. <laughs> and then his other... <laughs> he told someone else. Yeah. So, and then his other police people hid some uh, evidence or something, screwed it up. Mm. And so he had a bit of a breakdown and went away. Although it turns out he was right and he was brilliant. But, so this one is a fictional what-if-he-had-carried-on what type thing. Yeah. Now, I'm 
Was is that it... clear? Did I make any Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very no concise. spoilers. No spoilers. Yeah. Yeah. Very concise. Uh, now, uh, I'm surprised. This is your first kind of bustle acting. Oh, yes. It's the first time in a big yeah. frock. Well, I've done a period dramas in the 90s or the 80s a bit, but nothing, yeah, Victorian, you know, big. Did you like them? I know where you're going. Well, place. no, because, no, because uh -huh. I bet you were very good with your big skirt going through doors and things, because <laughs> you have 100% spatial awareness. Yes, I do. She really does. <laughs> what, what, does that, what does that even mean? She'll, she'll, she'll tell you now. <laughs> this is, uh... How uh, many fingers am I holding up? Uh, four. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is at school when, uh, before GCSEs, and they made you all go into, into a room and, and press buttons on a computer, and it was called the Oasis Test or something, I think. Right. And um, I was shit at everything, but I had 100% spatial awareness. So they said I should be an HGV lorry driver. <laughs> <laughs> or a pilot. Or a pilot. Or a pilot. I, I think they, they, were, they didn't want awareness. to sort of, they didn't want to... Situation awareness or something. A superhero. Yeah. Well, they, I don't think they wanted to, you know, um, build you up. Build too much. you up. Yeah, too they, much. They, they so they gave yeah, me yeah, lorry yeah. rather than plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reasonable dreams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you are the aunt of the girl who's murdered. Right, back to which, I think. Yes. I thought you meant. <laughs> well, I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I should I must I call home. Hear about it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, cue more crying in the. Uh, you, uh, yeah, do, you find, do you find crying really When they easy? go, oh, she cries, and then all you get are parts where you cry. But it. you're so good at it. Because it's sad, isn't it? It's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> but no one's really dead. <laughs> no, the whole point is you've got to pretend they have. No, I get the idea. <laughs> It's a concept. You're just good at pretending. Yeah. I would try. But I think all well, my emotions are quite close to the surface, and I've got a bit of an overactive imagination. So if there's a, a real person lying on a slab, and you've been told it's your niece, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, now, the new suspicions of Mr. Witcher is this Sunday on ITV at 8 oh. p.m., isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think my agent's here somewhere. She's just going, oh, God. <laughs> Uh, this is a, 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 a clip, and it's you sort of crying. No. Oh yeah. What did you say? There were lots of clips of you crying, and I went, no. Good for you. No. We're going to well have a clip done. where she doesn't cry. Okay. <laughs> but you kind of well up. Okay. Here we go. Would Mary have had any valuables on her? This is not a robbery, Chief Inspector. We have to look at all possibilities. The only jewellery she wore was a gold locket that I gave her. Can you describe it for me? Oval-shaped, encrusted with emeralds and pearls. It has her initials on it. So quite valuable, then. I tell you, this is not a robbery. Well, she wasn't wearing it when she was found. I have no faith in your inquiry. I would like you to investigate Mary's murder. I, I'm afraid that won't be possible. Why not? Our Commissioner takes a very dim view of private inquiry agents. I'm no longer accountable to the Commissioner. If you were to work for this lady, you'd be accountable to her. Miss Spencer, uh, I was involved in a case. A young woman committed a murder and I failed to secure a conviction. I became an embarrassment to them. I wouldn't want to be an embarrassment to you. From what I've seen, I have no reason to believe that would happen. I will pay you, of course. I'm not concerned about money. Please, just say you'll help me. You can't. Just crying watching yourself. <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> By the way, crying, I, I take my hat off to you. I cannot... Uh, I would have to get a stuntman in to do crying. I quite <laughs> like doing, you know, falling over stairs and things, but crying, I would have to get someone in to do that. Do you me. cry watching One Born Every Minute, things like that? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life is about the only <gasps> thing that'll get me. Good. That'll get me. Yeah, yeah. So but you not do, much you else. can physically do it. Yeah, no. <laughs> I haven't had the ducks removed or anything. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can still, yeah. And uh, in terms of the Hollywood decision, see, Olivia, your star is so on the... Uh, have you had to make that decision yet? Have you had those calls and no. those conversations? <laughs> no. I don't think they've got my number. <laughs> <laughs> they have! You're in the Iron Lady. If I had a different nose, I don't know it was me. <laughs> well, no-one's called yet. It will happen. 
Definitely. A bit like now. Yeah, it will. Even Dame Dench, she went all Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, but that's Dame Dench, isn't it? Yeah, but you'll be Dame Coleman. Dame, 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 yeah, Dame, Dame, Dame Baroness Coleman. Oh, yeah, Baroness, sorry, Baroness, 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 Baroness Coleman. Baroness Coleman. Leave, leave it to me, leave it to me. Oh, actually, they'll all be furious. Can you imagine if you just overtook them all on the outside? <laughs> Baroness <laughs> Coleman. <Yeah. laughs> and actually, you were so good as Carol Thatcher in the thing. Thanks. I think we've got a picture of you there. You look so different. <laughs> look at that, yeah. It's okay. There's you, Meryl, Jim Broadbent. Yeah. And was it Jim did the thing with his teeth? Oh, yes. So, yes, Meryl and Jim. Look at me, first names, Meryl and Jim. <laughs> Meryl and Jim had uh, M Margaret and Dennis teeth, white teeth. Yeah. And, um, and Jim was mucking about with his teeth upside down, and, and I was taking <laughs> photos of them, we were giggling. And Meryl said, what are you doing? And she came over and she went, oh, let me do me. And so she did her teeth as well. So I got photos of her with her teeth upside down. And then she said, hey, let's all three of us have a photo with our funny English teeth. <laughs> and I went, mine are real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh. Did you get a basket of muffins afterwards? <laughs> she was, yeah, she went, oh, my God. And gave me a great big hug. That's all right. I'm quite used to that. Oh, dear. Now, Broadchurch. I was talking about in the monologue. Everyone loved Broadchurch. I mean, it was one of those shows. Did, no, did, no, no. You are the only one. You are the only one. You watched it, didn't you, Lord Church? Oh, I loved it. it and the so wife good. and I loved it, yes. So we kept kind of guessing. Did all you get it right? Those new characters. Every week you had someone else and you were chopping and changing all the did people. Did you guess correctly? I suggested it might on the episode four. I thought it was the meerkats. <laughs> uh, my wife told me they're in the bloody adverts. Really. <laughs> no, but no. Did, uh, but did, did you? Did you? Did, when? When did you know? I'm sorry to. Yeah, no, hijack, please do. Hijack. Very good question. It's when, when did yeah. you know? Who <laughs> you had that down, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, just before episode eight scripts came out. Was well, the last episode? Yeah. I was hoping it was me. It wasn't. That would have been a twist, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. But did the guy who played the murderer, did he not know? No. <laughs> well, he must have been a big guy. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then you think, oh, would I have done it differently? And so you sort of go, mm. shit, good. all the way back. But um, he did a beautiful job. And not not of... knowing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great programme. Now, it took four months to make it. And uh, I read that's the longest you've been oh, away from... Yes. Trust me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you another thing now, and it's true. Uh, that's the longest you've been away from your kids. Yes. And was that uh, traumatic, or was that actually quite nice, having a holiday? For me, it was awful. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Um, so my booze levels went up. <laughs> just nothing to do. I just drink when I get home. And, uh, <laughs> then, <laughs> and I forced Jodie Whittaker, who plays Beth, the mum, to be my flatmate, cos I got lonely. <laughs> so I made her come and live with me. She was hilarious. She was fun. Um, but then when I used to get home, I'd run in, and they couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I jump in front of them, they're watching telly, and no, no, no. Watch telly. And their so iPads rude. and their things on their, you know, and all that, and their phones yeah. and. Well, they're only we. They're oh. five and seven. Oh, okay. So it's cartoons for them. Oh right. But okay. but you're still not allowed. To Do you think four months is bad? Was it you nine years you were away from home? That's uh, awful. Eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, eight years. I, I did that show for eight years, but it wasn't it wasn't uninterrupted. You know, we would I would come back. Uh, and they would come over to uh, Los Angeles, so I wasn't, I wasn't sort of at sea for eight years. Yeah, but you're, but you're home now. Is that right? You're back I am, in, you're back I am in London, home. and you're living at home. Yes. So is that weird for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> My, well, that's, the kids are kind of like, Daddy's here again. He's still yeah, he's here. Still. <laughs> he keeps being here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but well, no, eight years. It's a very, very long time. It is, after all longer than it would have taken me to actually qualify as a real doctor. I mean, I could have done something useful. Um, it's a weird thing. But your father was a doctor and you answered the phone for him. As him? Well, yes, but before answer phones, you, a doctor, when a doctor went out on call, he had to leave the phone, the phone had to be manned, a uh, woman, uh, and I was the man, I was the, you know, a teenage boy, and, and of course, as we all do, I sounded like my father. So what, you can't help it. So I picked up the phone and I said hello and they would immediately assume that I was him. And before I could say, Dr. Laurie will be back in about 20 minutes, they would start 
spewing <laughs> symptoms. <laughs> it's leaking, Doctor. <laughs> it's all it's all running down the inside of it. It's all <laughs> moist. And it's, should it be green? <laughs> um, and I, you know, you reach a point very quickly where you, you realise they've told you so much that you're going to be putting them in a very embarrassing position <laughs> if you then say, well, I'll tell him when he gets in. <laughs> Sometimes I actually said, well, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm sure, that will... <laughs> I'm sure a brisk walk will, uh, will probably... I have no legs! <laughs> singing for us. Yes, you are singing for us tonight. And because, I get it makes total sense that you would have a second album. It's in the shops now. Uh, Didn't It Rain is the name of the album. You know this. I, uh, this part, yeah. this much I did know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it makes sense that you would bring out a second album because the first album did so well. Well, thank you. It did, it, yeah, it, yes, it did. It, it, sold, it sold many, many, many copies. And all over the world. And, and, uh, I, I, Oh, I shouldn't say this. I'm going to say it. Shouldn't, but I'm going to. Today, <laughs> number one on iTunes in Russia. Wow! Oh. Wow. And, and no one can doubt your passion for this. You clearly love this music. I do. I don't. I love it very, very deeply. Yes. And what's interesting, you remember the moment when you heard it, and it... I do. I remember the first, uh, the first sort of blue note I heard, and it was like an electric shock. It was, it was a physical. It was, I was hit by something. It's not okay. What a fabulous to know yeah, that moment. Yeah, that, yeah, it and that was, was your and, life. And, and actually, it keeps happening. I still, when these chaps, you know, play one of those things and they or blow a thing or yeah, yeah. whatever it is, they can make that. They can. I, I can recapture that feeling. I do. In fact, every every time we play. Wow. And you're not just here for tonight. I mean, you're touring. This band is... We are is touring. We've just been touring. Uh, we've been around... Uh, we went to France and Belgium. In fact, in Belgium, they... Sh I was on a Belgian talk show uh, a couple of days ago yeah. because I know how to live. <laughs> <laughs> and they showed a clip of me on this show being incredibly rude about Belgians. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I, I can't no, remember what. I said no. something... I don't know why I did it. I felt absolutely terrible. I said something. I mean, it was in fun, but I implied that Belgians were, I, I don't know, slow on the uptake or something. And they showed it to the Belgians. Mm. And uh, they cheered. <laughs> they cheered? Yeah. <laughs> Which sort of proves the point. But, uh, <laughs> but the, the next leg of the <laughs> tour. <laughs> so this but the they chap, really are. No, stupid. they probably were. <laughs> they probably were. The chap actually, the, the, the interviewer said, um, he actually said to me in a quiet bit, he leant over and he said, they're just so thrilled that you mentioned Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel absolutely terrible. So I have to now make it up to Belgium and say it's a lovely country and everybody smells of chocolate <laughs> and it's just uh, <laughs> wonderful and they could not be nicer. And uh, so intelligent. And so sharp. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on it. Like you wouldn't believe. Hercule Poirot, of course, from uh, famously, Belgium. Famously. Yeah, famously yeah. from yeah. Belgium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, it is time if you want to go and I will. Uh, I will join indeed. the band, the Comfort Bottom and Band. I'll stop. Uh, and, uh, there goes you. And Lord Sugar, if you want to get physically and emotionally prepared because uh, obviously in a moment you will be taking control of the red chair it's the lord sugar <gasps> red chair special uh, but first performing wild honey it is mr hugh laurie <laughs>
gonna get all the fun done Cut in the wrong You really ought to see That is the way Wild honey is supposed to be Wild honey A kingdom. I don't take but a queen to make that kingdom come. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. I am the one who's gonna get all the fun done. Okay. Um, can I just say about it, a big, I think one more point with the band, the Copper Battle oh, Band. Copper Band. Fantastic. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now, uh, this is, this is uh, Red Chair, uh, Lord Sugar is in charge. Now, do you... <laughs> <laughs> now, this... Okay, the, so off the, you go, off you go. The, 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 this is very good. This, this bit that you, when you go like this. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> So, I, I won't be criticising that. OK. But we shall move on. Can we have the first victim, please? <laughs> Hello. Hi. OK, we're going to make this simple. Okay. <laughs> Name, age and location. N-A-L. OK, I'm Sarah, I'm 26. I live 26? in London. 26? Yes. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> Royal story for you. Royals. Yes, I met the Queen. Well, so have I. So sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think my experience was a little bit different because I was quite rude to her, actually. Mm. Yeah. Rude to the Queen. I was. I was. I was a little. Well, our Queen. Ah, uh, yes, our Queen. Mm. I'm Australian, so she's my queen. The, the mm. booing song. The <laughs> booing. <laughs> I'm not sure. You're, you've got about five seconds but left, love. Come on. I was only five, and I didn't know any better. Uh, okay. I'm not sure I really knew no, who she yeah. was. I just get was to the point, told. Can we, can we get to the point? <laughs> point, 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 point. Okay. So my sister and I had to present her with some flowers, but we only had one bunch of flowers between the two of us. Probably because she was cuter and younger, she got the flowers to give the queen. Oh, I got a crappy plastic little Australian flag. Mm -hmm. to give I did. <laughs> yeah. She was that close to the end. Sorry. You're nicer than I am. Yeah. I would never let that story go well, on. Well, you know, I'm just, just bedding, yeah, okay, bedding yeah, myself. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Next. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> NAL. 
NAL. Peter, 35, from London. That's uh, not a London accent there, is it? Do I, do I detect you're from South Africa? Very good, very good. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. <coughs> Carry on. Cool. So, on honeymoon Thailand, we're staying in a big resort. Um, this afternoon, the wife and I decide to make some love. Um, I'm sure I lock the door, your but... This is, uh... The next one, the next one. Yes. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, NAL. Uh, Rob, 25 from London. 25? Yeah. yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, cool. Well, I was, uh, well, I'm a music producer and DJ. And I beg I was, your pardon? I'm a music producer and DJ. Music producer and DJ. Okay. And I was, Speaking too fast. I apologise. I can't understand you being talking too fast. <laughs> and I was doing a gig up in Bristol. Mm hmm And I proceeded to get very, very drunk. Mm -hmm. And then I thought it'd be a great idea for when I go to the loo to uh, get complete start bollock naked. And uh, I got joined by five other men who also decided to get start bollock naked. And uh, on explaining the situation to my friends... I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't... <laughs> Graham wasn't there. Graham wasn't there. Everything on show, no clothes whatsoever. And right, I come on, come on, get to the point now. Come I on. had to describe to my happened? friends that I was doing a little boy wee. Well, what happened? Well, uh, well then uh, this rumour got out to a lot of people and I started to get very uh, different requests for bookings from different clubs. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. oh, wow! Oh, is he right? He really, he wet. That's it. Did yeah. you see him? He really wet. He deserved, he deserved it. <laughs> Should we one more? Should we one more? One more, yes, okay. <gasps> With high hopes. Okay. Hello, NAL. Uh, Edwards, uh, 32. Excuse me, one, yeah. excuse me one second. NAL, see? Save like time. It. Name, age, location. I've got it. <laughs> NAL. Edwards, 33, London. Edward, 33, <laughs> London. Very good. Carry on then. So uh, uh, when I moved to London, my, I got my first job was in a very posh hotel. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we had our staff party in the end of the year in a venue in Leicester Square. Mm -hmm. And uh, open bar, everybody getting very drunk. Mm -hmm. There was this girl that I uh, fancied boring, a bit. Mm -hmm. and, then, along, come on. and then I pulled her and because it was a work uh, due, we went uh, outside so nobody would see us kissing. Right. And then, Eventually, he wasn't we... in the same toilet as the other chap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. right. Then eventually we got a bit carried over and we did it right there. Uh, did it? <laughs> in the pavement in Leicester Square at 3 a.m. In Leicester Square. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> and then after oh, I did it, it's not over. And then when we finished. <laughs> And what else? Over. What else did you do? Well, no, when we finished, I took her to her bus stop, and then I went back to, to her the bus party. stop. Oh, no. in the red chair in a, a Lord Sugar Free Zone next week, then uh, contact us uh, via our website at this address. Uh, that's it. A huge thanks to my guest tonight, Mr. Hugh Laurie! <laughs> Olivia Coleman! <laughs> and Lord Sugar! I'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Thank you very much. Good night, bye, -bye. <laughs>And don't miss Lord Sugar back in the boardroom on Wednesday at nine with a taster on the way in just a sec. Coming up next, Gerald's gripes are towels and toilet rolls. He's not a happy chappy on the right way. Next.